Hey, man, you trying to learn Pro Tools? Well, you came to the right place. Because I'm the Pro Tools Sensei. Now bow down and hit that like button. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be giving y'all brand new videos all the time, help you out with recording and mixing and Pro Tools, Logic, Studio One, and even Luna, man. <laughs> now, this video today is going to be all about how to get started in Pro Tools, man. I'm, I'm starting this whole new series just for beginners, just for you who clicked on this video, who starting out in Pro Tools and need to know, man. Or maybe you already been working in Pro Tools and you just want to freshen up on some stuff, this video is for you. So like I said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you ain't already and let's get into the video. So one of the main things that we always have to do in a Pro Tools session is going to be zooming, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cover that today. And simply put, here we are in my Pro Tools session. This is the edit window and I'm working in a session made just for y'all. It's the Pro Tools for Beginners session, all right? Um, so now, if you're looking at your Pro Tools window, right across the top, you will see a toolbar. Now, the toolbar, do I got this thing turned down here? Yeah. <laughs> Bit. So, if you're looking in your Pro Tools session, you will see the toolbar right at the top. Now, you see this little magnifying glass? Of course, that is the Zoomer tool. But if you a Pro Tools ninja, which you're going to be one day because you're watching my channel, you're going to be really good at this. There ain't no need for you to use the Zoomer tool. But I am going to show y'all how it works because if you're trying to get certified or anything like that, you're going to need to know this. So it's just good to know every single thing. Trust me, okay? But I'm going to show you how the Zoomer tool. So basically, if you click on the Zoomer tool, you get the little magnifying glass and it got a plus icon. So wherever you click, it's going to zoom in, okay? Just as easy as that. Now, Wavy, what about zooming out, man? Well, to zoom out is really easy. All you got to do is hold the Option key, and then you see how that plus turns into a minus just by holding the Option key, and then you can easily zoom out just like that, all right? So that's really it for the Zoomer tool. Oh, I lied. You can also click and drag to zoom in on a range. So if I wanted to zoom in on that particular section, you could do that. But like I said, man, you're going to get comfortable with working with all the other tools up here and you don't want to have to be switching back and forth to use the zoomer tool if you're going to be an editing ninja a pro tools guru like your boy right here then you got to get comfortable with using shortcuts okay so i'm going to show you some shortcuts on how you can actually zoom in your pro tools session um but before i do that let's talk about vertical zooming as well because right now we just talked about horizontal zoom horizontal we just talk about horizontal zoom where you basically can zoom you know horizontally but if you need to make your track heights larger or smaller you can do that as well there's a couple of different ways one way is to go right to the bottom boundary between any track or at the bottom of any track and you can click and drag to adjust the track's height that way all right now, also right here on the amplitude scale on the side of the track, which kind of looks like a ruler right here, you can click there to change the track's height as well. Okay. And over here on the left side of the track, directly to the left of the track's nameplate, you can click the track's options and change the track height from there as well. Okay. So that's three different ways to change the track height. And you know how to use the Zoomer tool already. What you waiting for to subscribe? What you waiting for? All right, bet. So now that we've learned the slow granny ways of zooming in and out and changing our track's height, let's go ahead and learn the Pro Tools editing ninja way to do this, okay? So to zoom in, I love to use shortcuts. You already know that. So to start off, you can hold Command and use the brackets. Now the brackets are these keys. Let me hold this up right here. These are the brackets right here. Next to the P, hope you can see that. These are the brackets. Okay, I don't even, yeah, P, I got a bracket. See where my two fingers at? When I move my two fingers, them the brackets, okay? So, you got the left bracket and the right bracket. If you hold the command key, if you down on the PC, then it's going to be the control key, okay? Now, if you hold the command key and hit that right bracket, that will allow you to zoom in, and the left bracket will allow you to zoom out. Simple as that. 
okay? So this is my preferred method of zooming, at least one of them, okay? The key thing to remember here is that wherever your cursor is, see, let's get rid of this and just get our selector tool. We're going to talk about all the tools later, but this, um, what? <laughs> this tool right here is our selector tool. So once you click with the selector tool, wherever your insertion point is, you see that little flashing light? Wherever I have that at, that is where my track is going to zoom into. Okay, so even if I make a selection, if I have a selection there and I need to zoom in, right, that is what's going to be the center of where I'm zooming in at. So very easy. You can navigate through your session this way, zooming in and out. Now, there's an even faster way, an even quicker way, and that's just using a one key shortcut. Now, to use one key shortcuts on Pro Tools, you must enable the command keyboard focus button. Now, that button is right here in the corner. You see that little AZ button? That's it right there. I do got a whole video with all these shortcuts in it and stuff like that, every single shortcut that I use. You can go check that out. I'll try to link it, but I always be forgetting to do that. But you can find it. Just search my channel, man. Bang. All right. So um, this AZ button, it must be lit yellow. If you see, when I click it, it, it lights up over here in the clips list. You don't want it to be in the clips list. You want it to be available for your tracks playlist over here. So this right here, this little AZ button, and it could also be in your groups list too. I'm just going to show you all this too, right? It could also be over here. So if you don't see it lit right here in this corner of the tracks playlist, the command keyboard focus, then it's not going to work, okay? So that allows you to use one key shortcuts like T, to zoom in and R to zoom out, okay? So again, you can click anywhere, wherever you click, you can zoom in, T to zoom in, R to zoom out, just that easy, okay? Now, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you zoom horizontally. Now let's talk about uh, vertical zoom or, or, or changing the track's heights. Simply put, if you hold the control key, whatever track is selected or wherever your insertion point or selection is on that track, on whichever track it's on, that's the track that you're going to be affecting. So if you hold control, you can use the arrow keys to increase or decrease the track's height. For an extra like on this video, I'll give you a bonus right now. <laughs> and that bonus is going to be to add the option key. Uh, uh, a great tool that you can use in Pro Tools, this is going to be global for so many things. If you hold the option key, it will do whatever function you are doing to all of the tracks in your session, okay? So if I hold option and control, so holding option and control while using my arrow keys to go up and down, this will allow me to change all of the track's heights. Now, it also works if you're doing it the granny way and you're clicking around here. If I hold Option and click and change one track height, you see how they all can change at the same time, all right? So that is pretty much how we would zoom here in our Pro Tools edit window. Let's go over to the mix window real quick. Now, you might be saying, wait, we can't zoom in the mix window, but you can there is a way, right? It's called narrow mix. So imagine if I had a whole bunch more tracks. I'm just going to go ahead and create some more tracks. So let's go uh, shift command N. We're going to create 20 more audio tracks, okay? It's going to fill this window up and I can't see nothing, right? I'm like, dang, man, I want to see all my tracks at one time. Well, I could if I had hit that, right? But you see what I'm saying. If you go up to the view menu and choose narrow mix, this will allow you to Basically, chop those tracks in half. They'll make them very skinny so that you can fit even more tracks in your window at one time. Pretty cool, huh? So, again, that's going up to the view menu and hit narrow mix, or you can use the shortcut option command M. Okay? And that's going to allow you to go from narrow mix to the main way that you like to view it. Now, me personally, since I'm using this Logitech MX Master 3 mouse that I really like so much, it's got this little side wheel right here that allows you to do a horizontal. You can't really see it because the camera loves to focus in on our face, right? It's got the little side wheel, though, that allows you to do horizontal scrolling. So I don't mind scrolling all the way up and down because I really don't like to see my tracks looking all skinny like that because you can't even tell all this stuff, man. You, can, you know what I'm saying? You can't even see nothing. All right, y'all. So that is a quick video on how to actually zoom in Pro Tools. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button because I'm going to be dropping a whole bunch more videos just like this to help you out in your Pro Tools session, Logic, Studio One, and even Luna. All right? I'm Wavy Wayne. Check out wavywayne.com if you want to cop some of my professional mixing and recording templates to help you get started a whole lot faster. Peace. Be dope.